So Manchester United have lost 3-2 of Wayne Wolves, but really disappointing for Manchester United. Uh, getting knocked out of the Champions League, which I thought we would lose this game actually. Uh, we've scored the first goal of the game, really good goal from Manchester United. One matter sliding in the ball for Martial, who's been on a real goal drought lately. Hasn't scored in about 16 games uh, for club and country, so it's great to see him get back along the goals. And this was a really open game actually. Uh, I didn't think we'd uh, see such an open game. I thought it'd be a bit cagey from both sides. But a real open game. They got the equaliser straight after uh, we scored. Really bad defending from Manchester United from the free kick. Uh, which allowed them to score the equaliser. Really disappointing with that. Uh, and to be honest, uh, the, the second goal from Wolfsburg uh, was a really well uh, worked 1-2. So can't really argue with that. And Draxler, quality player he is. Uh, you can't really stop that. I don't think we can really do much about that goal, to be honest. I think you've just got to hold your heads up for that goal. Uh, but really disappointed with uh, Wolfsburg's uh, third goal. We did actually equalise uh, with Mara and Fellaini headering the ball. Uh, and uh, one of Wolfsburg's players headed it into the, into the goal, past the goalkeeper. Uh, and Wolfsburg's third goal was obviously an easy one from a corner. Free head up. Terrible defending again from Manchester United. Uh, very, very disappointing. I mean, both sides have had other great chances to score tonight. Fellaini's had a header, which was fantastically saved in the first half to put us 2-1 up, which could have could have changed the, the context of the game. We've had a goal disallowed uh, in the first half as well uh, to make it 2-2. Could have gone our way, but, you know, I just don't think defensively we were good enough. I've said this in previous uh, videos that I don't think our defence is good enough. We've seen uh, against West Brom where Barino... Uh, Sadio Berahino had a great chance to score the free header and missed it. Uh, again against West Ham, they've had two great chances to score where players Zerati and Moses have missed. You know, when you come up against the real top, better sides in the Champions League, you're going to come unstuck because they're, them teams are going to have the players that are going to take the chances. And that's happened tonight. But, um, I mean, if you look at the defence tonight, we've had two youngsters playing full-back. Uh, we've had Blinden Smalling in the centre, you know, it's not been easy for the two full-backs, I've got to admit. Uh, we have got uh, injuries. I'm not, I'm not saying that this is the reason. I'm not putting any, uh, any blame on the injuries here. Uh, Louis Van Gaal should have enough cover. He spent enough money at Manchester United. And I think one more defender should have been brought in in the summer and maybe would have, would have compensated for the, for the injuries. But we should have got the job done in uh, the PSV game anyway. So this game should have been uh, a dead rubber for Manchester United. So... To be honest, you can't really blame the injuries, even though we have got uh, another couple of injuries tonight. Darwin and Chris Smalling are both injured. Uh, Schweinsteiger was taken off. Hopefully he wasn't taken off due to injury, because uh, that will be a big blow for Manchester United. We've got to see how Chris Smalling is for the weekend. Hopefully he can play against Bournemouth, because otherwise we're going to end up playing with a real young pack four, which could be costly, because Bournemouth uh, are going to be up uh, after that win against Chelsea. Anyway, th this is really disappointing that we've got knocked out. I mean, I know some people uh, are uh, aren't Louis Van Gaal out and are, are uh, criticising me for saying Louis Van Gaal. Uh, I still think he can make it at Manchester United, but uh, it's really disappointing after this performance. Yet uh, these performances constantly. Uh, I mean, tonight was obviously difficult going to Germany, but we've really blown it in, in other games, not scoring enough goals, uh, not winning our uh, home games, getting too many draws. Uh, you know, and the football's really got to improve, or it will be Louis Van Gaal, uh, I'm afraid. I don't think he should be sat now. I think we should wait till the summer, obviously, unless things uh, do decline at any more than they are. But this really is, this Europa League could, could hindrance our top four chances, because uh, we're going to be playing Thursday, and then we've got to play Sunday. We're going to be constantly doing cash-up now. So it is going to be a problem. We've just got to hope that the likes of Chelsea and Arsenal are also in the Europa League, uh, so that there's a lot of teams in the Europa League. Uh, and a lot of games are being played Sunday, so that it's not all uh, just Manchester United doing catch up. But you know, really, really disappointing. Louis Van Gaal's got to do do change something uh, in the coming weeks because we haven't won now. In, I think it's three or four games, which is very, very disappointing. He spent so much money. Uh, could it possibly be that he has to go into the transfer market? You know, still, I'm I'm still unsure on that because he spent a lot of money. Should have the the team now. I mean, it was worrying what he said the other day that if we had got Suarez or Aguero, they would have scored against West Ham. He's picked this team. He's brought these players in. He's spent so much money to assemble this team. He shouldn't really uh, be... He's basically uh, criticising his own players by saying that their ones would be better than what he's got. 
You know, he's brought these players in. These ones are the ones that he should uh, be confident that are going to do the job in games. So it's very, very disappointing for Manchester United. I would go for da David De Gea as man of the match today. I think he had a really, really good, impressive game. So it's, it's uh, going to be Europa League for Manchester United for this season. Hopefully we get knocked out early uh, because it's going to really uh, hinder our chances of finishing in the top four this season probably. And certainly uh, you're going to struggle to win the Premier League like this. Anyway, please do like the video. It really helps the channel out. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Please do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What you thought. I mean, how disappointed are you? I mean, I, was pre I predicted that we were going to lose this game anyway. So, I mean, I am very downbeat about the, about the result. But, you know, I thought we were going to lose anyway. So, I was geared up for this uh, shocking uh, exit from the Champions League this year. Uh, and a group that we should really have definitely won. I mean, Manchester United should definitely even have finished second at, at worst. PSV aren't a good side and will get beaten against the likes of Barcelona and Real Madrid in the next round. Whoever gets them are going to most likely have an easy game, I would presume. I don't think they're good enough. So, very, very disappointing. Even David Moyes got fur further in the Champions League than this, so it's very, very disappointing. But we will have to wait till the summer. If a better manager becomes available in the summer, personally, I would, I would change. If, if Pep Guardiola or even Angelotti are available in the summer, yes, I would change. Uh, the manager probably then, unless things do improve with the football. It's the football on the consistent basis. Uh, we had some better, better, we had some better chances tonight. Uh, the football was more attacking tonight. So if we can play more attacking like that in the future, then I will be happy. But the defending's obviously got to be good as well because tonight the defending wasn't good. So he's got to get a medium between the pair. Hopefully he can turn it around and still prove me wrong. But. I'm not too sure. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I will talk to you all again soon. See ya.